Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 20 of our BDD and SpecFlow video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about getting currently running feature steps or scenario information out from them. There are many situations where we may want the currently executing feature names or tag or description out from a feature or a step information like text or table information from a step. Similarly, tag or title information from a scenario. These informations are very helpful while performing reporting operations. For example, this is a sample reporting of SpecFlow where you can see that I'm inserting the feature name of employee and the scenario name like create and delete an employee and the step name is this. I click employee list link. I click log off. I click login button. Right? So these are the step names and if there is any exception then that will also be added and what is the result of it? Let's say if it is passed or is it failed? So these are the different kinds of operation like feature name, scenario name, step name. This, you don't really have to manually input those value in a method. Rather, using specflow you can get this information out of the box using the available libraries. And this reporting is actually taken from Exit Automation Reporting System or otherwise called as AIRS course from Udemy. So let's see how it works. So for that I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So this is a very very basic specflow project and you can see that in this project I have nothing. Everything is a dummy step here. So if you go here you can see that it has a dummy steps in each and every step definitions. And also this feature does uh, a normal login operation kind of stuff, right? And let's say if I want to get the information of this feature, the name of the feature or the text of the feature is actually login. Similarly, if I want to get the scenarios title, this one, check login with correct username and password, then how should I do that? Similarly, how should I get the feature name? So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new class file and let's call this as general hook.cs and let's make this as a specflow file so for that i'm just going to add the bindings and let's make this as public class and here let's say if i want to print the feature name and scenario name after the execution of my scenario then there is something called as after scenario attribute available in c sharp where you can just add something like this public void after scenario here i can just print a value like console.write line so for getting a currently running feature there is a there is a property which is available in a class called feature contest and within this feature contest you have something called as current property so remember this current property is something which has all the storing of values within your dictionary that we do in the scenario contest that exactly it is for the feature contest as well. So I'm just going to use the current and here there is something called as if you just keep on navigating down you can see there is something called binding cultures, comparators and the one which we are interested in is this the feature info property. And this feature info property has something called as title, tag, language, generation target language, and description. So which one you want, you can actually take that. But as of now, I don't want the description. Rather, I'm just interested in the title of the feature. So I'm just going to take the title of the feature name. Similarly, I can get the scenario title using what is called as scenario contest dot current dot scenario info and there is something called as title right so let's quickly change this from feature name to feature title now let's say if I want to print both of them then what I can do I can just use the C sharp 6.0 feature using dollar double quotes of feature name of feature title oops see again I'm doing the same mistake it is not feature name it's feature title scenario title is equal to scenario title there we go I'm just gonna close the double quotes I'm just gonna save it 
So now what happens is this particular attribute after a scenario will be executed while your scenario is completed. So let's quickly run this and see how it works. So for that I'm just going to build the solution and let's go over here and let's run this particular scenario. All right, let's go to the output. You can see that we have this feature title is login and scenario title is check login with correct username and password. Great, right? So you have both the feature title and also the scenario title. Similarly, you can also get the scenario tag name or whatever you want. Let's say if I want to get the tag name of smoke and positive out from the scenario, then you can do that using the what is called as scenario tag is equal to scenario contest dot current dot scenario info dot tags and this is going to be a string array and what you can do probably you can take the first one with scenario tag of what is called as scenario tag and we'll maybe take the first one and let's try to quickly run this scenario and see what is going to happen let's go to the output you can see that the scenario tag is smoke right so i can also get that and the next quest is getting the step information so if i want to get the step information it's a very very logical thing right if you go here to the feature file you can see that the step is actually available within a scenario so some of the other ways within a scenario the step information should be available so let's quickly see if we have that what is called as step info is equal to scenario contest dot oops scenario contest dot is there anything called step contest no right it's actually because in specflow 1.9 or before you don't have this kind of information what is called as step info or step contest so this is actually available in the latest version of specflow if you can see the version of specflow i have if i go to the properties currently it is 1.9 so what i have to do i just right click the references go to the man manage new get package go to the updates from version 1.9 if i install the latest version of 2.1 and if i hit the update and then if i go here this time and hit dot you can see there is something called step contest property and this property actually is very very helpful to get the step information as well and you can see step contest dot what is called as step info and within the step info you have all these things like multi-line text step definition type table or the text whichever you want you can get it and the one which i am currently interested in is the step info dot text so i'm just going to take the step info dot text and there we go so i can just use this and i can then print the step information as well so let's say console dot right line and if I want to print the step information, then I can just say uh, step of what is called as step info. There we go. I'm just going to save it. And now if I go back and run selected test, what will happen is we'll actually get an exception. And the exception is very, very reasonable because let me quickly run this and I will show you. It will throw you an object reference or yeah, object reference, not certain instance of an object, right? And the reason is because the step information will not be available once the test or the scenario itself is fully completed, right? So there is no point in actually getting the step information after a scenario or before a scenario or before a feature or after a feature. So how do I get this step information? And that's why there is a attribute called as after step. You can use this attribute to perform the operation so what we can do is here we can give the after step and once one step is executed the particular value will be printed the step information so let's save this and let me quickly try to run this and show you how it works there we go it got passed and if i go to the output 
you can see that after every step it executes I have navigated to the application I see the application opened I click login link I should see the username and password and hello so this is kind of cool right this is very cool and the reason is because you have this after step attribute and this after step attribute is also added in 2.1 of spec flow it is not available in 1.9 so ensure that you have the latest version of spec flow referenced into your project to get this step information so this is how you can get the information of features scenarios and step information out from spec flow once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day